Hello out there everybody, Manny here at Area 503, and I hope you all have been well since our last video. Today I just have a quick update on some interesting USO footage that was shot near Miami that I had to show you folks. Imagine, if you will, that you're out on a boat with your family. Maybe you're taking a nice little tour. So you glance over to the side of the boat and you see this. Whoa. That would definitely freak me out, and I for sure would get my camera out and record it as well. But what are we seeing here? You can definitely make out some kind of light source under the water, but I don't see any shape of a discernible craft of any kind. You don't see any submarine, you don't see any form of UFO or a USO, there's no orb, there's nothing like that here, just a strange light. But what could be causing it? Let's run the video again, but play the audio this time so we can hear the witness statements. Maybe there's some kind of clue there. <laughs> it blows up. Yeah, that's why you're recording it. You know we witnessed it though. Yeah. That's what I said it was probably a scuba. A scuba? This guy down there saying somebody's scuba diving. Just one person illuminating that that bright light. Yeah, that Oh, it's moving? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's like, it's, scuba and it keeps flashing too. Like, scuba diver doesn't fly. And he he can only stay underwater for two minutes. A scuba exactly. diver. Aha, scuba. Now that makes sense. <laughs> and I think that our witness might even know that because of the way that he said. Yeah. That's what I said it was that's probably scuba. A scuba. And you know that actually reminds me of something. When I was a kid, on 4th of July's, one of the guys who lived in the neighborhood was a scuba diver, and he would bring out a dive light. These handheld flashlights are extremely high powered and meant to be used underwater. So anyhow, this guy would bring out his underwater diving light, and he would use it to shine up at the street lights. The street lights have sensors on them, and they detect the high power light and think that it's sunlight and turn themselves off. So he would turn off the street lights for us so we could check out the fireworks better. <laughs> what a nice guy, and clever too. But the point being, these dive lights are extremely bright. And if there was a diver in the water here near this boat using one of those dive lights to ascend to the surface, it could quite possibly look like this. And in fact, right here, when we pause it, you see another little white dot further beyond the light. Now that could also be a diving partner or another diver in the water that doesn't have a dive light turned on. But then again, it could also just be an ocean swell that looks white. It's hard to tell. Either way, there's definitely something there. And I think it's a scuba diver with a dive light. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments section down below. I bet if we get enough people looking at this thing, we can ID it positively. So let's give it a try. I have just one more sighting that I'd like to share with you folks. This one took place over California on May 8th. Let's take a look. Take a look at this. It's right above the uh, O on the 2021. Now it's above the two. Now it's above the eight. Now it's above the zero, now it's above the five, now it's above the zero. It is kicking. Wow, did you see how fast that thing was moving? And that dot flashing, that's above the zero. That's just a regular plane. <laughs> Whoa, what do you think that could have been? At first it looks like it's kind of hovering there. And then it just shoots off towards that airplane.
and it looks like it hits it. But I don't think that could be because if some sort of an object struck an airplane like that, it would have been reported and we would probably know about it. I mean, pilots report when these things come even close enough to see, so why wouldn't they report being struck by one? Hmm. So yeah, this thing's pretty dang strange. I'm not quite sure what to make of it yet. We do have one more piece of footage where it looks like the guy got a little bit of a better angle on it, so let's take a peek at that. Alright, so I just made this other zoomed in portion. Watch above the zero and the nine on the right and how that UFO right now. Watch it do its loops and dive right now. Diving up, loop, come down, now watch it race to this jet that's coming up. Look at the speed that thing going. Look at how slow the jet is. It actually punches the jet. And then it takes off. Yeah, that is pretty crazy. It does look like it punches the jet there at the end. And what's with that loop at the beginning? Yeah, wow, check that thing out. It just does a loop and goes flying off towards that airplane. You know, I gotta say that this is really behaving like some sort of a hot dog drone. But is it really a drone? Or is it some kind of UFO? I mean, I just don't know. Either way, why wasn't it reported? I mean, that just doesn't make any sense if this thing actually struck that airplane. I mean, maybe it didn't actually strike the airplane. Maybe it's a smaller object, like a bird or something, that was just flying by in front, and because of the angles, it looks like it actually hit the airplane. But the likelihood of that seems so slim, it's not even worth considering. So I guess I'm back to square one, and I think that this has got to be some kind of a drone. And again, I find that prospect a little bit frightening. Drones have been interfering in commercial airspace all over the country. One recently interfered in Tucson and the FBI was called to investigate. And in fact, I was just reading an article that was sent into the channel by a friend of mine by the name of T-Dog. Thank you for sending that in by the way, T-Dog, and feel free to send me articles like that anytime. <laughs> Anyhow, this article was talking about the first drone that was used to kill a human being. Oh wait, that's been done for a long time unfortunately. Mm. But why was this different? Because this drone was controlled by artificial intelligence and wasn't operated by a living, breathing human. And that's right, an artificially intelligence controlled drone killed a human being. Now think about that when we talk about drones flying around commercial airspace. Yeah, you see why I'm scared, right? <laughs> Gosh. Anyhow, if that were any sort of commercial aircraft and something were to strike it, I have no doubt that it would be all over the news. So I'm a little surprised that we don't have more information about this. But maybe it's out there and we just haven't found it yet. I don't really know. But the good thing is, I'm not going anywhere until I find out. And I'll keep trying to follow up with this story, and if anything new develops, I'll make sure to do a follow-up video so that I can bring that information out to you as soon as I get it. But for now, what do you guys think about this sighting? What do you think about the USO? Let me know down in the comments section below, and while you're down there, give the subscription button a click if you haven't already. Do it. Do it now. Do it. Please? Please do it? Please? <laughs> I don't know. Anyhow, I'll be back later with another Tommy the Troll episode, so keep your eyes open for that if you're interested. For now, that's all I've got on USOs and UFOs. I'll catch you all later. As always, this has been Manny at Area 503. 
and I wish you all the best until we meet again. And I am out of here to continue my search for universal truth. I have just one more shot. One more shiting. Who are you, Sean Connery? Hello, folks. I've got just one more shiting for you, so stay a while and listen. Oh, wait. That wasn't Sean Connery. That was Deckard Kane from Diablo. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, God. That might be Grandpa Troll. Tommy's grandpa. <laughs> uh oh. This is how characters are born. Ha ha ha.